What is going on and welcome to Jack Fishing. All right guys, so today we are gonna do something cool. We're gonna do a little bit of a review for you guys. And what are we gonna use? Boom! I just got these Kytex swim baits. Okay, they're the swing impact three and a half inch. We're gonna see what we can catch on these. I heard a lot of good things. And if you guys know anything about Kytec, they're a little bit more expensive than your average stuff, but usually you get what you pay for. We're gonna put this thing to the test. I've got a spot where I know I can hammer away the walleye. We're gonna find out how good this works. So there you go, one more time. I got these Kytec Twing Impact, three and a half inch. We're gonna check them out, how they perform, and hopefully we can get on some good fish. So guys, let's not waste any time. Let's hit the road and let's get to the water. Let's go. Here's the final product. I know it looks kind of funny because of the jig head I'm using. It's a quarter ounce. You know what? It's all about the action that swim bait will provide us. And as long as it's good, we're gonna have some good action. So let's see what happens. casting as far as I can and then I work my way to the current break all I'm doing if you guys can see right now I let it fall to the bottom I pick it up and then I reel as fast as possible so there's no slack line and usually it's when the lure drops back down that they hit it you guys can see what I'm doing I just let it fall to the bottom pick it up and we got our fish on there you guys go fish on right on the drop Okay, that hit in the current, it feels good. I am not sure how big this fish is, but it feels pretty decent, guys. Oh yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good size walleye right there, guys. All right. Nothing crazy, but decent size. Decent size. Gonna get this guy over here. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Woo! There we go, guys. There we go. First fish. Here's the proof right there. There's the Kytec. Boom. Right in its mouth. And this guy just freaking slammed it, man. That was a pretty good hit. <clears throat> oh, there he goes. See ya, buddy. He's gone. All right, guys. So that was pretty awesome. As you guys can see it right there on the Kytec and this weird looking big jig head I got, it's actually working. Got the first fish of the day, so that's awesome. That was so cool to be able to catch it on that lure. And let's see if we can get some more, guys. Let's go. Here we go, fish on. Second fish, got him in the current too. Here we go, here we go. Not a huge guy, not a huge guy by any means, but yet again, smack the Kytec. Actually a little guy, smaller guy, but there you guys go, all right. Right there, there it is. Walleye with a Kytec in its mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, how good these things are today, and it looks like they're doing a real good job. This is the deal right here, man. These Kytex are really freaking awesome. I tell you what, I'm really enjoying fishing with these. I've been here for no longer than 15 minutes. I had two hits and I landed two fish. This is the stuff right here. Let's see if we can get some more. So the setup I'm using today is my brand new cask and Resolute as my pole. It's got this really cool guide that's called the microwave guide. And it's supposed to allow you um, to have further casting uh, abilities. And it's a medium power seven foot rod. I really like it. And I have a casking Sharky 2 3000 reel on it. And I'm using 12 pound test line right now from Spiderwire monofilament. But that's what I'm using guys. So let's see if we can get some more. Got another one. There we go, yup. Wow, guys, I'm telling you guys, this Kytec is killing it right now, man. I am catching these fish left and right, and they're just smoking it. They love it. They love it. There we go. Little guy. This is a really little guy. Might be the smallest fish today. But there it is, guys. Nevertheless, it is yet another fish. That's awesome. And yet again, there you guys go, on the Kytec. That's uh, walleye number three for me today. I'm gonna let this guy go. All right guys, so we're gonna continue on using this. I mean, it is just blasting the fish away. I had five hits already in about 20 minutes and I landed three fish. Guys, this thing is awesome. I'm falling in love with it. I'm already gonna tell you guys right now in the middle of the video, Kytec, man, you get what you pay for. Make sure you guys check this out. This is good stuff. I mean, you guys see how I'm catching these, man. I wish I had like a live clock going on this video so you guys can see in how short of an amount of time 
I call all those today. So let's keep going. Let's see what we can uh, what we can hook up onto next. There we go, guys. We got one. We got one. Yeah, got another one. This is potentially going to be fish number four. What do we got? What do we got here? What do we got? Yep, same size. About this one's a little bigger, about 16, 17 inches or so. Oh yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here. There we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. Again, on the Kai Tech. Guys, this is such an amazing lure. Look at that. Right there. They, they, they love it, man. I don't know if it's all sorts of species, but the walleye love the Kai Tech, man. There we go, fish on. Got a couple of nice head shakes on them. But, yep, just our average size walleye for this area. Oh, come here, buddy, come here, buddy. Uh, there we go. This one's pretty crazy. I actually got him on the outside of the gill plate. So, <laughs> that's pretty nuts. We're gonna let this guy go. All right, guys, even though the bite was really good in the spot where we just were, I'm actually moving because the wind picked up and it was blowing right towards me. And unfortunately, it took off about uh, an entire 15 feet of casting distance um, and I was just unable to get where I wanted to go and with that being said I stopped getting as many hits as I did because I couldn't reach the current break and while I are usually hanging out in the current break so I'm just walking a little bit uh, gonna go around the bend and the uh, wind is not gonna affect us in this spot and hopefully there's fish here too so Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so we just got set up in this new location, as you guys can see behind me. I went around the bend. This is the perfect place. Wind is blowing over there. I can't cast as far out as I want, but the thing is, I think the fish are gonna be a little closer to me on this end. So hopefully, if the action is half as good as it was in the other spot, we're gonna be on fire, man. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue with the Kai Tech with the weird jig head. I know it looks weird, but you know what? Maybe if you were making fun of me in the beginning of the video, that's cool. But how do you feel now? I just caught like eight of them in like 45 minutes. Woo! There we go, so I'm just still doing the same technique, just slowly jigging it off the bottom. And there we go, we got a fish on, fish on, just like that. Man, that was that was a quick hit. Oh, that's that's actually a decent one right there, guys. Oh man, yeah, that's a good one. It's not huge, but it's definitely better than the other ones. I'm gonna step down here oh, so I can try to land them. For some reason, I thought it was a lot better than this. Um, it's a little longer, but this is all we got. Oh, guys, check this out. I don't know if you guys can see. He's actually got another hook in his mouth. In his mouth, he's got another hook, another red one. I'm gonna see if I can take this out for him and we can save him. There you go. There you go, this little hook, guys. This little hook right there was in his mouth. So I was able to take that out for this guy. So I'm gonna place it down here. I'll get rid of it appropriately in a minute here. There it is, guys. First walleye in the new spot and then a good looking one at that. All right, we're gonna let him go. <laughs> Keep going. There seems to be a good amount of fish over here. Here we go. Got another one. Okay, come on. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, decent sized walleye. Oh, yep, that's a decent sized one. This one's actually got a little fight in them. Okay, good for you, buddy. Uh, the fish do seem to be a little bigger here. I don't necessarily want to climb down there, and he's not too big, so there we go. All right, calm down. All right. There we go, guys. Yet another one on the Kai Tech. Right top of the mouth. Um, not, not Nothing huge, but there you go. That's a good size walleye right there. That's a good eater fish. I mean, wow, that's, that's a good looking fish. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the durability of this, okay? I know there's a lot of people that say, yeah, kai are not durable, this and that. I'll tell you what, I caught about, I, don't, I lost count, guys, honestly. Um, I've caught about 10 fish so far, and I probably had at least another 15 hits. And you know what, for this thing to just fall off now, 
that's not bad at all so i don't know who says that they're not durable um maybe i'm getting lucky i don't know but i think they're very durable actually um while i don't have the worst teeth but they do have pretty good teeth so i don't know i, I think they're durable you know what i'm glad we moved to this spot because for some reason it, it i believe i know i only caught the two walleye here so far but they're a lot bigger than in the other place there we go got another one guys got another one oh yeah oh yeah see yeah this is another bigger one the, the ones over here seem to be in the 18 19 inch range oh man this guy swallowed it dude this guy swallowed it he hammered it man this right here guys that we're getting better this is a better fish right here look at that kai tech right in the mouth he smoked it dude he smoked it they love this thing oh, there we go got another one guys as i was actually scratching my face all right okay got some head shakes got some white feels like a walleye yep oh that's that's actually a fairly decent sized one yeah that's a that's a good size walleye right here guys yep probably 20 inches or so yeah this is a good one not the monster i'm looking for but still a good size walleye this one has the beautiful like yellow coloring um all these walleye have different colors it's, it's they're absolutely gorgeous so yet another one guys all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode this was pretty insane i've probably caught close to 30 35 fish um hooked up on double that and i tell you what guys the kai tech highly highly recommended it's a really really good lure highly recommend guys i'm not messing with you if you don't believe me check out my prior videos i've been in the same spot using different lures didn't even have remotely as much luck as I did today. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button if you think it was all right. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, guys, tight lines.